303-318. Geeks can contact me on the internet at joebob at turner.com. Someday. Back to Monster Vision host Joe Bob Briggs on Beastmaster. Oh, the adorable ferrets. Just one of the touching moments in the Beastmaster. This is the only movie, as far as I know, to combine child sacrifice scenes with aren't the animals cute scenes. <laughs> it's a movie that can be loved equally by the Michigan Militia and the Westminster Kennel Club. It's like the Jungle Book and Terminator all mixed up together. All right, here's the part where the animals help him kill people and he learns his true purpose in life. Roll it. So the Beastmaster is saved by the faithful dog with an arrow sticking straight out of its side. The only dog in history who doesn't try to rip the arrow out with its teeth. Pretty good so far, though, don't you think? We had the witch plant the fetus in the cow. That was good. We had the hairy Krishna monks commit suicide. We had the witch get flung into the fire. There was the barbarian horde invasion, the village of screaming women, the warriors with the skulls on pikes. The whole movie is basically Tijuana on a Saturday night, isn't it? You know, when I first saw this, I had trouble understanding what Mark Singer was saying. Everything sounds like a noise you make when you're lifting weights. You know, Dar. <laughs> That's his name, Dar. And the barbarians are called Juns. You know, but the way he said it, when I went through the whole movie the first time, I thought they were being attacked by the Juds. <laughs> And that's a scary idea. Naomi, Winona, and feisty little Ashley all wearing loincloths and wearing skulls on their heads, spearing people on horseback. I'd get out of the way, I'm telling you. But it's the Juns, not the Juds, just in case you made the same mistake. Okay, continue. Now, in the original movie, we get to see Tanya Roberts naked in that scene. It was a pretty famous scene, too, because Tanya was still on Charlie's Angels, or she'd just finished it, I can't remember. And so Playboy ran all these pictures from the flick, and everybody was just all bonkers over Tanya's garbanzas. Of course, ever since then, she's been springing them out of the chute more or less regularly, <laughs> so the novelty has worn off. And it doesn't matter anyway, because this is basic cable, and we don't show hooters here, except occasionally there's kind of a fleeting shadow hooter, kind of a phantom breast. I think they do that on purpose, too. You think you saw a nipple? but you can't be certain enough about it to write a letter to Ted. Those pesky little TNT editors, they're rascals, aren't they? Okay, enough of that. How about a little child sacrifice? Roll it. And that is, of course, the great Rip Torn as the evil priest Mayax. Rip is seen most recently on the Larry Sanders show, but he did a whole host of these evil guy with a weird accent roles. And this one is pretty sick. He's tossing those kids into the fire left and right. And I mean, the Beastmaster does save that little girl, but what about the first kid in the scene? They forget all about him. That one's already a crispy critter before he decides to do something. Okay, forget that. We've got the Juns plot going. We've got the Talk to the Animals plot going. We've got Tanya Roberts in the story. Only one thing left. Time for the part where the Beastmaster meets up with Gordy from the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Remember Gordy, the guy who did weather and replaced Ted Baxter when he was on vacation? Well, Gordy has really been working out on the Nautilus equipment. You aren't going to believe this. Watch. Hey, I'm Joe Bob Briggs with the Monster Vision Mail Girl, and I want you guys to listen up. You've got three ways to get in touch with us. The first way is you can write to us at 1010 Techwood Drive, Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30318. You can also email us, joebob at turner.com. Now, some of you turkeys were writing this address on an envelope. That doesn't work. The third way is we have a website. I have no idea what a website is, but the address of it is www.tnt-tv.com. You have anything to say, honey? I know what a website is. Well, good for you. Write to us. Nothing nasty now. Don't miss Monster Vision with host Joe Bob Briggs and Honey the TNT. You know, I'm getting a little sick of these guys planning new journeys all the time. They were going to go to Iraq. Now they're going to go to R. 
The whole point originally was go to the land of the Juns. Let's make up your mind how about it. There's way too much plot getting in the way of the story here. Okay, go save Tanya Roberts. Get that over with. Then get your hiney back to the good stuff. Rip Torn is killing people. They're off saving Tanya Roberts. Beastmaster. Well, Mark Singer is the barbarian you could take home to mother, isn't he? No matter how many people he kills, he always wipes the blood off his glistening chest and combs his hair and grins at Kodo and Podo. If the barbarians had a Kiwanis club, Mark would be the president, wouldn't he? I don't think Mark is going to like it, though, when these guys are tortured with leeches, do you? He might have to kill a few people with his sword just to make them behave. So let's see. Go ahead, roll it. This is a long mother, isn't it? We've already had six commercial breaks tonight, and this sucker is not nearly over. I need a raise. That's all there is to it. You know, make a note of that. Ask Ted for raise, okay? Good. Go. 